नमस्ते इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन ऑडियोमीटर कंटेंट्स आर एनाटॉमी ऑफ इयर ऑडियोमेट्रिक टेक्निक्स ऑडियोमीटर एंड ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ ऑडियोमीटर ऑडियोमीटर इज अ इक्विपमेंट विच इज यूज फॉर ह्यूमन इयर आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ हियरिंग लॉस इवेल्युएटिंग हियरिंग एक्चुएटी और वी कैन से मेजरमेंट ऑफ हियरिंग थ्री शोल्ड रेंज ऑफ ह्यूमन हियरिंग इज ट्वेंटी हर्ट्स टू ट्वेंटी किलो हर्ट्स देर आर द टाइप्स ऑफ ऑडियोमेट्रिक टेक्निक्स प्योर टोन ऑडियोमीटर एंड स्पीच टोन ऑडियोमीटर प्योर टोन ऑडियोमीटर टू ऑप्टेन एयर कंडक्शन एंड बोन कंडक्शन थ्री शोल्ड ऑफ हियरिंग विच इज हेल्पफुल डायग्नोसिस ऑफ हियरिंग लॉस स्पीच ऑडियोमीटर आर normally used to determine speech reception thresholds for diagnostic purpose anatomy of ear ear is divided into three section outer ear middle ear and inner ear important parts are outer ear pinna and canal middle ear tympanic membrane or ear drum inner ear cochlea these are the parts of ear mechanism of ear pinna is the outermost part when sound wave signal travels from ear canal because of sound signal tympanic membrane or ear drum vibrate near to ear drum three bones are present anvil stirrup and hammer those are also in and out due to that generated energy transfer to liquid present in a cochlea auditory nerve identify the signal or sound and transfer to brain in this way the ear works same the sound travels from the ear canal due to that the ear drum get vibrate near to this ear drum three bones are present hammer and wheel and stirrup they generate a energy and give it to liquid present within the cochlea in this way the human can heard the sound now we will discuss the block diagram of audiometer system this system divided into two section electrical section and mechanical section electrical section consists of sine wave oscillator and modulator to generate the desired test signal mechanical section consists of control circuit carriage drive writing system with drive motor these all are the parts in audiometer now we will discuss how this audiometer works sine wave oscillator generates the test signal from range 125 kilo hertz to 8000 hertz first test signal provide to left ear and then right ear from the oscillator the signal is fed to the modulator where the mode of operation is select tone switch two modes are available pulse and continue when pulse mode selected signal provide in a pulse form which is easily recognized by patient continue switch at the time of calibrating audiometer continue mode selection master clock generator for the control of all timing functions via logic control circuit these switches are essential at the time of providing the test signal buffer amplifier from the attenuator the test signal is fed via buffer amplifier the calibration circuit consists of seven potentiometers which are adjusted one at a time until the achieving correct level when 
the patient able to hear the tone or signal patient supposed to indicate by pressing the hand switch a pain connected to the attenuator traces a continuous record of the patient's intensity adjustments on an audiogram chart producing a graphic representation of the subject in this way the audiometer works these are the different models of audiometer this is the arrangement of audiometric test this is the sample of audiogram this is all about the audiometer thank you